everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday I struggled, really struggled, and I love the way Emmy made the comment that I turned something that was difficult into something interesting. <laughs> I thought, oh, good grief. That was great that she turned. I love her comments because she has the, she's the one that has um, made comments about my chickens, and they're like a soap opera. And I, I'm trying to write a little soap opera. I'm not getting too far on it, and it's not turning out as nice as, as I'm sure she could write it better. But I'm going to um, insert a little video in today, and it's going to be, you'll get to see my Mr. Brown outside with the other hens. So let's put that in right here. We were outside with the baby. There you go. I put you back. The others are very curious about it. What's everybody chasing around for? I got my holy shoes on. Hello. Ouch! That hurt, little lady. What you picking at me for? Whoa, Rhonda. Rhonda, what are you doing? You are so darn cute. They're scratching around, they're doing like the chickens do. Here comes Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. You gonna be nice to the baby? You checking it out too? Doing. Oh, they're scratching. You can stay over there. Notice the difference in sizes of the babies. This is Blackie's babies. Hers are the youngest. Woo. Hello there, Mr. Brown. You keep coming back. Don't you want to stay with the babies? And learn from the real chickens. Hello, little one. Did she just say, what'd she say to you? Hmm? What's going on, little one? You're pretty big. what they're doing again. You're so much littler than they are. Look at Mr. Brown trying to fit in. He says, oh, is this what chickens are supposed to do? Yes, this is what chickens do. They scratch and they, oops. And they fight to get the whatever it is. Whoops. 
How cute. Well, I guess. Whoa, Blackie, what'd you say? Mr. Brown is really trying to fit in. closest that Ron, um, Blackie has been to me with her babies. Usually when I come out, she takes off. But she's been a little bit closer with me having the little baby out here with me. Maybe they see me as a chicken too. I don't know. Look at you. You're so darn cute. Too bad you're a boy. Really wish you were a girl. Coming back. Are you done? Are you all done? Okay, uppy. We'll go in. You got your nails dirty. Well, we're gonna put you back in your little house. There you go. Get yourself a little drink. He is trying so hard to fit in with the other hens. But every time I would move, he would just run right back to me. So he knows I'm the mama hen. Today, I took him out a second time just because I thought, you know, he enjoyed the first time out there. So we took him out and he stood on my shoe like he did in the first one. But this time he pooped on my shoe. <laughs> he, he let out a little squirt. I have also been asked um, how I'm going to keep him from pooping everywhere. Well, they do have diapers for birds. I don't know if that's what, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping I don't have to put a diaper on them because then that means you'd have to wash their feathers or something because I'm sure it would get dirty back mm -hmm. there. I'm hoping that they'll be where you can train it to maybe get its business done in the morning and only poop when it's back in its wood chips and not poop just any time of the day, you know, like maybe control itself, like hold your hold your bowels, don't be pooping on me. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible or not, but we're gonna hope that it is. So that's um, what my my goal is. I also had a question about um, someone I think was thinking that I don't like roosters or something about roosters and chickens. I like the chickens. The chickens lay the eggs, but the roosters, you can only have just, well, if you have a lot of hens, you could have more roosters, but I only have, I don't have enough hens for a lot of roosters, and roosters will fight if there's too many in the batch, so that's why I'd rather have the hens, because the hens seem to do better together, whereas roosters, they're, they're more territorial, and they have their favorite girls, and they will fight to the death if they feel somebody is infringing on their harem. It's like it's like they're king of their roost, and they are king of their roost. Mm -hmm. And they like to eat. And they yes, they eat. They don't give you anything back other than maybe protect your girls and and they fertilize the eggs for you. But as far as um, getting anything in return, you don't really get. You don't get any, um, you get satisfaction in knowing they're there, but that's about it. You're not going to get any eggs from them. You're just going to feed them, and they're going to eat lots. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I prefer the hens. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, you don't need hens to lay eggs. No, I roosters. mean, you don't need roosters. <laughs> you do need hens. Oh, yeah. Hens will lay the eggs, but you don't need roosters unless you wish to hatch out some. But if I if I didn't have hens that went broody all the time, I wouldn't bother with the rooster either. But I have hens that go broody, and I ha Emma is one that will go broody 
and she will stay broody until she hatches something. So she's been known to sit for 21 days, then sit for another 21 days, and then sit and stare at another hen who is sitting for 21 days. And she was waiting and waiting and waiting for a baby chick. So she's one of those that if you don't, and like Blackie this time, I tried to break her of the broodiness and she wasn't going to break. So she would be another one that probably, and now Dorothy is broody again, so she must be one that likes to go broody. So you have hens, certain hens that just love to be mamas and they go broody a lot. And in order for them to actually hatch the chicks, you have to have a rooster. So that's why I have the rooster. Well, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed that little video of my little Mr. Brown outside with the other hens. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.